Hello, my name is Pastor Tim Wesley. Welcome to another segment of 5 Minutes for Faith. Have you been cheating on God? Have you been cheating God? I want you to think about this for a moment. If you're in a relationship right now, think about what it took to, in order to get that relationship. Many times when we want those relationships, we do any and everything in order to develop those relationships. But do we do the same thing in order to keep those relationships? Many people find themselves at that point where they're at divorce. Uh, the divorce rate is quite high. Many people don't realize it's just as high with Christian couples as it is with secular couples. I want you to understand, those divorce rates are high many times because people did not take the time to learn their mates below the surface. In other words, many people see things that look good out there and they chase those things that look good and when they get those things, they think that they've gained what they were truly after. They find out later on that they truly don't know that person. They never really got surface, below the surface, to find out who they were really dating, who they were really marrying. But we have to understand the same thing happens in Christianity. Many times when we come to Christ, we see things and we think that's what we want. We're not quite sure. And many people become surface Christians. They don't quite go all the way down. They don't quite dig in deep enough to actually have that true relationship with Christ. When you don't have that true relationship with Christ whereby you're studying scripture on your own, whereby you have that personal one-on-one -on -one relationship with God, whereby you have that communication where you can start learning God, learning more about God, learning more about who you are as a believer, then you're just like the person that finds out that they're just a surface relationship type person. That the relationships simply don't last long. You have to ask yourself, have you been cheating God? Have you been cheating? In other words, if we look at Exodus 20 verses 2 through 6, we'll see that uh, we find the Ten Commandments right there. In the Ten Commandments, many people forget one of the first commandments, or the first commandment there was, was that God did not want to have any other gods before him. As we see in verse 3 of chapter 20 of Exodus, you shall have no other gods before me. No other gods. How many times have you placed someone before God? If we just look at the news, we'll see uh, certain things take place. How many of you have heard of American Idol? American Idol. You think about that for a moment. People hear those names and they don't think much of it. But the fact of the matter is God wants us to not have any idols. Even if we have an American idol, people start idolizing these people that are simply human. People that cannot get you into heaven. They cannot do anything for you. They can't heal you. They can't make your life any better for the most part. But they become idols to people. We are sometimes hoodwinked and don't even realize it. The moment you start thinking that American Idol is just a name, then you've already been hoodwinked. Look at people like Tiger Woods. He was just a human. He's just a man. Yet and still, people began to idolize him, started to put him on a certain plateau. And nine times out of ten, if we look long enough, we'll find those people will eventually fail. Many times in the light of the same public that lifted them up. Lift God up more than you lift enough people. What becomes your idol? Anything that you place above God. Anything that becomes more important than God. You think about that. With relationships, many people begin to cheat when they see things that they think look better than what they have. When they start thinking they look better than what they actually do. You think about that. You've had couples that did quite well until one began, maybe they lost weight. Maybe they got themselves um, fixed up. Maybe they got that hairstyle they always wanted. All of a sudden, someone else started giving them a little attention and they found themselves straying towards that other person. We have to understand the same thing happens in Christianity. Many times we've been attracted to Christ, but all of a sudden we see something else out there that looks attractive and we find ourselves straying towards that. And before long we find ourselves engaged with that thing, whatever it may be. It may be your automobile. It may be another religion. It may be a person that we find ourselves attracted to. It may be a television show. Have you been cheating God? Have you been looking at something more than what you're supposed to be looking at Christ? Have you been worshiping and idling something more than what you're supposed to be doing with Jesus Christ, God, and the Holy Word itself? Ask yourself those questions. If you find yourself in a position right now where you feel like you're at a loss, where you feel like your blessings are being blocked, where you feel like things seem not to be going right in your life, you may look and say, well, I'm doing so many things right in my life, but you have to ask yourself, are you doing the wrong thing when it comes to idolizing something or someone else more than you're worshiping and paying attention to God? If you are, you have to renew your relationship. That's the only thing that's going to be able to save you right now, a renewal of relationship. If you want to renew your relationship with God, if you want to get to that point where you've stopped cheating God, then do three things I suggest to you. The first is remember why you came to God in the first place. Remember why you came to him in the first place. There was something likely going on in your life that you felt you needed Christ. You needed religion. You needed Christianity. 
and God was right there for you. So remember why you came to him in the first place. Go back to that, whatever that case may be. Secondly, recognize his faithfulness. God is faithful to you through all things. And I do mean through all things. Even when you're going through hell, he's right there. When you're getting divorced, he's right there. When you're going through funerals, he's right there. When you can't pay your bills, he's right there. When you're having headaches, when you're having heartaches, when you have physical, spiritual pains, he's right there. Through thick and thin, he's right there. So recognize his faithfulness, and then you yourself can become more faithful as a believer. And thirdly, reconcile through repentance. Reconcile through repentance. That simply means that seek forgiveness. If you messed up, that's fine. You're at a point now where you recognize you messed up. Reconcile through repentance. Go to God and say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for my shortfalls. And he will